Last year, Google announced SEMA, the Scalable Instructable Multi-World Agent. It was a general agent that could interact in virtual worlds and respond to instruction. Google has now released SEMA 2, and it's a big upgrade, mostly because it uses a version of Gemini as the base model. Here are the five things you need to know about SEMA 2. First, SEMA acts as a human does. What do I mean by this? When the original SEMA, SEMA 1, was taking action, the only inputs were the screen of the game and its outputs were the controls into the game. In other words, the model did not have access to the underlying state of the game and could not manipulate the state of the game directly. Let's see an example. Suppose you're playing Minecraft and you want to mine coal. For those unfamiliar, it means identifying a block that looks like this and then interacting with it. If the in-game character is looking away from the block, he can't see the coal, but it still exists in the game's state or its internal representation of the world. In other words, the game itself knows the block is there, but that information isn't available to the player because it's not in his viewport. It seems that SEMA 2 also follows this restriction, although it's not said explicitly in the blog. This means that SEMA 2 has to interact in the world as a human would, with limited information, and then manipulate the world through the controls provided by the game. While some reinforcement learning paradigms and models have omniscient access into the game's state, importantly, SEMA 2 does not. For example, in Minecraft, it can't just place a block of wood wherever it wants by internally manipulating the game's state. It has to actually walk over to that point and place the block down. Number two, SEMA 2 can reason. I just gave this example of mining a block that's outside the viewport. This is a great spot to highlight a crucial difference between SEMA 1 and SEMA 2. If SEMA 1 were in this position and it's given the task, mine a block of coal, it could very well fail at this task. This is because mining the coal requires an intermediary reasoning step. That is, you first have to find the block of coal before you can mine it. SEMA 2 can reason about the goal and understand that it needs to perform an intermediary task in order to accomplish the goal. SEMA 1 cannot do this. It was a strict instruction following agent. So SEMA 1 was instruction oriented and SEMA 2 is goal oriented. The DeepMind team attributes this ability to their usage of Gemini as a base model in SEMA 2. And there's another cool result of them using Gemini as the core model. That brings us to number three. SEMA 2 understands multimodal prompts. Now, this is probably my favorite fact about SEMA 2. SEMA 2 can accept multimodal prompts, meaning you can do something like draw a spaceship and then tell the agent to find it. Again, the launch blog doesn't really go into the interplay of this SEMA 2 capability with other capabilities. For example, can we instead draw a fire and then ask SEMA 2 to make what's depicted in the drawing? For this to work, it would need to understand that the image is of a fire, reason that it needs to collect sticks and flint or wood and flint or something like that, and then complete those actions to make the fire. The blog doesn't really show too many examples of this, but I would expect Gemini's general reasoning capabilities to make it able to do these sorts of tasks. Either way, the fact that SEMA 2 can do this at all is really, really cool. Number four, SEMA 2 can follow command chains. Recently, the problem of context rot has been a topic of discussion in the AI world. It's a phrase for the observation that the performance of an LLM can degrade as the input to it grows. Chroma has a good write-up on context rot from a few months ago if you're interested. While context rot is usually talked about in terms of extremely long prompts, like tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of tokens, regular LLM users notice this effect as well. The longer a conversation with an LLM goes on, the more likely it seems for the model to make mistakes. According to DeepMind, SEMA 2 can understand long and complex tasks. They show several examples of agents following a long chain of instructions successfully, something that SEMA 1 was not capable of. Now, I should point out that their examples show a long chain of unrelated commands. That is, they are asking the model to do many things in succession, but each action on its own is effectively unrelated to the others. The SEMA 2 launch blog doesn't really speak to whether this performance holds for long chains of complicated and related commands. And finally, arguably the most interesting fact, SEMA 2 can transfer concepts across games. SEMA 2 was trained on a wider array of games than SEMA 1, and many of those games have similar concepts. For example, SEMA 2 was not trained on Mind Dojo, which is a research-oriented version of Minecraft. But SEMA 2 is still able to transfer the concept of mind to this game and understand what it means to mine a block. Similarly, it was not trained on Aska, but it knows how to harvest a rock in that game, which is the game's terminology for collecting rocks. This leads to an astronomical improvement in completing tasks in previously unseen environments. So those are the five key things I think you need to know about SEMA 2. But for me, the most fascinating question isn't what SEMA 2 can do, but how it gets better. SEMA 2 actually uses Gemini to improve itself, and I think that's the real story here. I made a whole video breaking down how this AI-powered feedback is the secret sauce that powered this leap forward. If you want to understand the why behind the what, 
you can go ahead and jump over to that video now. Otherwise, let us know what you think about SEMA 2 in the comments. But I want to talk about one specific part of SEMA 2 that was tucked away at the end of the blog. It's this image on how SEMA 2 improves itself. Up until effectively ChatGPT, reinforcement learning or RL was viewed as something of a niche subject. Sure, there were some problems that were best 